Start the morning with a cold start. We found a Shelby friend. Say hi, Matt. Hi. <laughs> Today is officially Shelby GT350 day. Matt's driven out from Michigan, so we've got the two R's together. We should have a couple more GT350s on their way. First, my car's a little dirty, the wheels are dirty, a lot of brake dust. I'm gonna rinse it off, get it clean. Same with Matt's, he drove out. All right, my car is cleaned off. We've got all the Shelbys together. There are six GT350s, well no, four 350Rs, two 350s. Nice range of colors. Got another lead foot gray, Eric's car. And we've got a couple cars on signature forged wheels too. So there's mine, nice and cleaned up. This is gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of flat plane crank noises. We will probably go get food somewhere. Man, all the Shelby's. A lot of Shelby's sitting here idling. <laughs> No, I'm in the Mustang. Calm down. You're okay. We've arrived at Raising Cane's for fried chicken, and look at that BMW individual M4. That color looks really, really good. Change of location, we are now at Shake Shack. Not that you guys care probably as much about our food decisions, but we've got the Shelby's all together again. Some of them have mods, some are stock. Uh, this is a lot of fun having all these cars together. A couple signature wheels. This regular 350's got some pretty cool wheels on it. Got mine, Orange Fury looks so good. The Mustang Squad, hello Mustang EcoBoost. Say hello to your Shelby siblings. These guys still have the carbon wheels on theirs too. Lead foot gray just looks so good. I am now starving because I haven't eaten anything all day. So Shake Shack in Schaumburg, Illinois. Shelby's everywhere. <laughs> We're gonna take some pictures here, but they have this parking structure blocked off. Probably because look at those donut marks. People were doing stuff. That's that's a bummer. We'll have to find something else, but check out all the Shelby's. They sound so good in this parking structure than Tim's car is beeping. Oh man. Got devil eyes on this 350. RGB color changing. They were blue earlier. That looks sick. Our Tim has an amazing SRT. And look at that. He's got the birch. <laughs> Mopar or no car, right? Mopar. Yes. Finally, we have the cars arranged the way we want them to. Got the DRLs on on all of them. Six Shelbys. Four GT350Rs and two regular 350s. I don't remember any of the letters or numbers of what the wheels are, but those are mine, those are Brent's, and those are Matt's. Matt really went for trying to look like the OEM carbon wheels or thinner spokes, but all forged wheels, rolling some titanium lug nuts. If you want these for your Mustang, hit up Terrence. I absolutely love mine. Parking structures are fun when you have a Shelby. <laughs> This thing sounds good. Oh, we've got the cars lined up. That was a little bit of a challenge, but I'm gonna run upstairs and see what it looks like. One floor up. Two, ooh, that looks cool. Where are they? Where are the photographers? Next floor. This is sweet. Look at that. Six Shelby GT350s. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen my car from this angle before. That looks sweet. Look at Orange Fury. Ah. Just want to take it and like put that color on my car. That white with the blue stripes, white with the black stripes, black on black, lead foot gray, no stripes. Shelby squad. I also went up one floor too high, so. Hey Tim. What's up? <laughs> I really like the lead foot gray on my Shelby, especially after I put the new wheels on it, but this Orange Fury just looks so good. I was actually quite close to buying an Orange Fury GT350 Not R, so one very similar to James's car here, but the color just pops so much. After having a bunch of white, gray, and black cars, I wanted something colorful. Orange Fury definitely checks those boxes, but I'll deal with my lead foot gray R with the 
nice gold wheels. We're back down on ground floor. So many Shelby's, so many flat plane cranks, so many 8,250 RPM red line. It's really cool hanging out with a bunch of fellow owners. Everybody's really cool. People have different specs on their cars, different modifications they've done, um, different wheels you can see on some of these cars. I love my car, really am falling in love with it. It's a brilliant driving, manual, high revving, naturally aspirated sports car. And that's exactly what I wanted. And we've got a Bentley. What's up guys, in today's Chrysler vlog, I destroy my engine again. One hour visitor parking, one hour visitor parking, one hour visitor parking, and then they had to move this one further up there. That's kind of funny. <laughs> you gonna what? Huh? What? what? what so here's the big question for all of you. We all have GT350s. Would any of you trade your cars for a GT500? Absolutely not. No? It would depend. Well, that's not a proper answer. Not right now, no. No, I would buy another one. I would never get rid of my cars. You had one on order though. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, let me clarify. Are you selling yours? Though? I would buy one in addition to. I would never oh, sell Oh, look at here. Is. Matt's the baller. He's going to have two GT3. Oh, uh, no. 350, 350R and a 500. He's going to be seriously baller. After having driven a bunch of 350s, 350Rs, and owning one now, I also absolutely would not trade it for a GT500 because I got this car for naturally aspirated high revving manual and the GT500 obviously supercharged dual clutch. It's stupid fast. I did a couple laps on a track in one and it's mind-blowingly fast, much more powerful. I will be spending some time with a GT500 very soon, so stay tuned for those videos. But overall, I mean, we all love our 350Rs. And then there's Tim in the background here who has got his Bopar hat on. Tim is awesome. He's great. That's why we make, that's why we're, we, uh, it may seem like we're mean to each other, but it's out of love. He is my favorite, by far, my favorite photographer who shoots on a crop frame sensor. Oh my God. I'm gonna run that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm the Mustang owner. I do that. Tug of war. <laughs> Tug of war, yes. A couple hours later, just Matt and I were doing a couple pictures of the cars. Pretending to be photographers, not actually photographers, so all I know how to do is hold the camera and talk to it, but We've got the two of them with the signature forged wheels. We're gonna get some pictures for Terrence. Oh, we totally could go closer. I don't want to Day two of the weekend Matt and I just finished grabbing some lunch had some Starbucks. I needed the caffeine We are going to head to Costco see how much we can fit in the show because I actually need some supplies for home and drinks and such but we're gonna take two Shelby's to Costco. Also gonna look for some toys because we're doing a toy charity run next weekend and those 118 scale model cars are allegedly back in stock. So I need to find a lot of those. Both the Shelby's are out. They look pretty clean still from yesterday. They look so good together. Shelby brothers. This guy after three years of convincing finally got me to buy one of these and now he's wearing my shirt. Of my car. Yes, that, that shirt is from this car. This is what we're at Costco for. We've got GT500, C8, another 500, but there's more back there. So what I do is I pull the entire pallet out because I don't follow rules, but we need to see what's back there. Instead of moving the pallets, we did this. What's that? Ooh, another C8. Centenario back here, 48. A couple Centenarios. Not bad. People have already done this. Look, there aren't many left. Um, yeah. Proper GT500s, Centenarios. There's two Chirons down there. C8, C8, 48, and an SVT Lightning police car, which is pretty cool. Some are for me, some are for the kids. So, successful Costco trip. A couple 118 scale cars for the kids, a couple for a me. A couple? Yeah, a couple. Uh, dish cleaning, whatever those are called, sponges and LaCroix. Typical Costco, now we make them fit in the Shelby. Parked in the middle of nowhere, as we do, and we found a Porsche friend. 991.2 G, uh, Carrera 4S. These two look so good together. Love having matching cars. When you and one of your best friends have the same car. Yes. Shelby Squad and toy cars. So we just hit up Costco number two. The Shelby currently looks like this with the 118 scale cars. And yeah, there's 11 more. Um, I was planning on only getting a couple. Literally as we walked in, I was like, Matt, we're not gonna get a cart. So I'll only pick up one or two. And then we had to go steal a cart. And anyways, for the kids, right? These will be donations at some point. Some are for me, some are donations, but time to load them up. Also, for performance, we are testing out the Shelby GT350 cargo capacity, which is exactly what a track focused car is great for Costco trips. And there we go. Plenty of, I don't even know how many are in here anymore, but plenty. 
Instead of having a passenger, I have a pile of toy cars. Quality life decisions right here. Quality life decisions. We're heading back, gonna go drop off stuff at home. Matt and I are gonna film a quick video with the two cars, and then the cars, I'm dropping my car off at Dynamic Detailing to finally get tents, because I'm kinda tired of driving around in a fishbowl. But, back on the road. Gonna, this is gonna take a while to unload. Absolutely is gonna take a while. We've arrived at the final destination of the weekend here at B Rogue Built and Dynamic Detailing, dropping off the Shelby to get it finally tinted. We're doing ceramic tints. Just talked to Dylan a bit. I think we're going with 20% on the side all around, so I will no longer be driving a fishbowl because look at that. No more fishbowl. And as usual at B Rogue, there's, I mean, hi Dylan. How's What's going? Tesla's getting clear bra on it? And then there's a bunch of stuff without engines and some with turbos. That is B Rogue. Semi-famous YouTubers Lambos back there. So the car is getting tinted. Eventually we'll ceramic coat it. But the reason I'm not doing it now is I'm actually thinking about messing with these stripes, the racing stripes on the Shelby. Three options. Delete, which is not gonna do that. Keep it the way it is. Or change it to white, which I talked about. And then there's this other option I was thinking, possibly replacing these red pinstripes with a gold to match the wheels to kind of tie it together. Cause you have gold and red. And if I do that with some gold, the red badge, I don't know. Their thoughts, comment below. What should I do to change the stripes up? Uh, just to kind of match the wheels a little bit better. I think it would be cool to make it unique. Otherwise, the car is here for a little bit. Dynamic detailing. When I pick it up, it will be tinted. No longer fishable. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the other things on the channel. Thanks for watching.